is brought to you by APQS, handcrafted quilting machines. Aurafil, Aurafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Guidelines for quilting, prepare for perfect piecing. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Quiltology, the urban quilt space. So new, so exciting, so Quilty. Red Rooster. Rowan Fabrics, timeless and sophisticated. Hi, thanks for watching Quilty. Welcome back. Hope you're having a good week. Uh, today on the show, it's a bit of a conversation, kind of a, it's almost a blocks a go go show, but it's more of a design, design elements show today. So you may remember this little block. This is a Union Square block that we made. Oh gosh, it's been a little while ago that we made it. This was the small version that I made and we made a larger version of this block. And the pattern that I found it in, or the pattern that I used, uh, I found in a uh, quilt sampler uh, issue, Fonts and Porter, we can pop up on your screen uh, which book it was. Uh, but I just love this block. I fell in love with it. I wanted to do a full quilt that was a Union Square block, right? I wanted to do it and I was so excited. So I kept this taped up near my sewing center and I was even going to tackle the small small size, but then I was like, well, let's not be ridiculous about this. Let's make the bigger size. So I used my pattern and my cutting chart and I was gonna make blocks that finished nine inches. And I love the name of the block, Union Square. It was gonna be this awesome quilt, right? That was my plan. Well. So I, so I did, I found fabric that I adored. This is some Rowan fabric. This is a couple different colors uh, of this within the line by one of my favorite designers, Martha Nagley. I love everything you do, Martha Nagley. Send me, I don't know, a Valentine. I love what you do. And by the way, as you go to more quilt shops, you'll find like, oh, I just love Joel Dewberry, or I love Martha Nagley, or I love, you know, you'll find the designers where you're like, those are my people and they can do no wrong. So I had a great block had a great pattern and I had great fabric. How could I lose, right? Okay, so what I did is I cut out all my pieces, all of my pieces. I got my little assembly line ready to go. And this is like the behind the scenes of how I make a quilt. I get all my pieces cut. I set them on like a, a big tray or something, or at least it, on my sewing station. I use Ziploc baggies to put the little different pieces that I need into these Ziploc baggies, you know, and I separate out everything. I cut my strips, I cut my little squares. I got everything ready, right? <laughs> it was a lot of work. And then I made the block. I made the block and I hated it. And I'm gonna show you, well, hate. Hate's a strong word. I made the block, my friends, and it was not the way I thought it would be in my head, okay? Now let me tell you, this is not Martha Nagley's fault. This is not the pattern's fault. This is not the fault of anybody but, well, me. It's not even really my fault. Here's what I did wrong though. Okay, this block in solid high contrast colors is a stunner. You've got all these little points. You've got all this action going on because these are really high contrast fabrics. These are not high contrast fabrics. If you squint your eye and kind of back away, even if you don't squint your eye and you don't back away, those do not, they blend together, don't they? They completely blend together. You can't see where, where one piece of fabric ends and the other begins. They kind of smush, don't they? I mean, I'll be honest, I can't even really, looking at it this closely, I can't even really tell what the block is. It's very difficult. These are too similar in their contrast. Another problem with this block is that this fabric, which is amazing, this is a different colorway of the same fabric, same thing as this. I mean, I couldn't love it more. I want a dress made of this. I want sheets out of this. But if you're cutting small pieces, and I've, ta I've ta taught you this on the show before, when you're cutting small pieces, don't use a large print because then you lose the print, right? Well, I did it anyway, and look what happened. It didn't really work. So I wasn't gonna give up. I was gonna try another one. So I tried another one, and I thought, well, I need a slightly higher contrast. Still, it just kinda looks weird. It doesn't look like that. It doesn't look like I want it to look. And so I wanted to do this show to talk about when a block goes wrong and why it would. Because if you see a quilt that you adore, and you're like, that's the quilt, that's the one I'm gonna make. I can't wait to make it, that's the one, I know it. And then 
you start making it and it doesn't look like that, it's not because you're a bad quilter. It's not because you don't know what you're doing. It's that you probably just made a few design choices that you could make you know, amendments to and do better. So don't get discouraged if you make a quilt and it doesn't look like the quilt that you had in your head. The way to, you just need to refine your process, okay? And the way that you can do that and what I should have done, and this is the lesson that I learned the hard way, before you cut out all of your pieces, cut out one block's worth. Make one block and go to your design wall and put it up there and spend your time cutting just a little bit of fabric, making one block and seeing if you like it. Because if I had made this block first and seen how it turned out, I probably wouldn't have cut out all of that fabric. Now I'll use it eventually. But the lesson for today is don't get ahead of yourself test out these blocks, make sure what you're doing works. You can have the most beautiful fabric in the world, but if it's not working, it's not working. And I didn't force myself to finish this quilt. That would have been a waste of time. So I'll keep the blocks for something else. You never know. And for you at home, don't do what I did. You know, test it out first and, uh, and definitely be inspired, but be careful too. Thanks for watching Quilty. Join us online. You're online already. It's easy. Quilty is brought to you by APQS, handcrafted quilting machines. Aurafil, Aurafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Guidelines for quilting, prepare for perfect piecing. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Quiltology, the urban quilt space. So new, so exciting, so red rooster. Rowan fabrics, timeless and sophisticated, 